it's me again, Miss Wiska. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Anak-anakku, grade 1 yang disayangi, minggu lalu kita sudah belajar tentang keluarga. Tepatnya tentang silsilah keluarga ya. Nah, kan banyak ya. Waktu itu anak-anak sudah belajar tentang keluarga inti. Kemudian ada uh, my relative atau keluarga besar. Keluarga besar bisa ayah, selain ayah bunda ada kakek nenek, om tante, sepupu, dan sebagainya gitu ya nah kali ini kita memasuki materi baru judulnya experience nah, this experience is related to family jadi pengalaman, experience adalah pengalaman pengalaman yang berhubungan dengan keluarga apa itu pengalaman? pengalaman adalah Misalnya nih anak-anak pergi bersama ayah ibu ke suatu tempat sedang berlibur, berlibur ke pantai, ke gunung. Nah, this is experience atau pengalaman. Nah, sekarang Miss Wiska punya sesuatu cerita pengalamannya dalam bentuk storytelling. Apa itu storytelling? Storytelling adalah menceritakan tentang suatu cerita bisa melalui apapun misalnya uh, buku cerita nah yang ini adalah anak-anak mendengarkan cerita dari namanya story jumper ya silahkan saksikan tayangan berikut ini The Little Curry Prince in the Lockdown created by Wiska read by Wiska This story is dedicated to all children now in quarantine. This story is based on a true story. A little boy with two sisters who are at the home due to a pandemic corona. Hello, I am Sarah. Hello, my name Sultan. Hi, I'm Sabrina. The boy who lived with his parents and two siblings was named Sultan. It was Sultan who got a little curly hair. A girl whose hair was long is the eldest sister. Her name was Sarah. The other was Sabrina, who has a big tail. She was the second sister. Yeah, this is my family. It was my mother who read a book. What my mother do is read a book like my father. My father usually read a book too. It was my sister Sarah who played the violin. And that is Sabrina. Sabrina is my sister too. She like serve some things to eat together because she like cooking. And it was me, Sultan. What usually I do is reading a book or drawing pictures. And it was my cat, who named Chester and Charlie. The brown one Charlie often follow me wherever I go. This story begins because the situation that happened to us in all over the world. The virus has been spreading across the world. Apparently, school will be closed for two weeks because there is a coronavirus. After his mother said that conditions happens, Sultan looks confused and doesn't understand how he feels himself. My son, 
Tomorrow you don't have to go to school, your teacher said to me. Why, mom? Sultan still didn't understand what was happening. That he knew at the time was he had a day off. On his first day at home, Sultan felt happy, like during an ordinary holiday. Hooray! I'm free! Mm. A week later, there was a notification from school that a child was asked to send a report of what activities were carried out at home. On the first day, they were busy in the kitchen. They made juice. Sultan was very enthusiastic. He made juice assisted by his sister. They made various fruit juice. Then they made guava juice. After finishing making the juice, they enjoyed the juice while sitting in the front of the house. Sultan, now it's your turn to put the fruit. Sultan, press this button. Okay. Mm. The Prince Curly, who has really liked cycling, never fasts a day without cycling. Therefore, on the second day, Sultan was his bicycle. Sultan worried that he could not to do that. Sultan, your bicycle is dirty. Can you wash it, honey? Okay, mommy, but I don't know how to do that. Your sister will help you, don't worry. Day by day, Sultan was getting bored. He played a lot of games from his mother's cell phone. Of course, this is not good for his brain and eyes. It was Sultan's father who understood the boredom that Sultan felt. His father had another idea by seeing Sultan's hair getting longer that look amazing. Mm. Sultan, let's cut your hair. Dad become the barber. Can you do it? Sultan answered with sparkling eyes. Sultan got the first experience of being cut hair by his own fathers. Sultan's father spoke a new saver because during this lockdown, we were asked not to cut hair first to the barber. What we need now was made Sultan feel happy. Then, Sultan's father took a toy's car and told the Sultan to sit there. It's just like when he was saving his hair in a barber shop. After finishing saving, Sultan was asked to stand in front of the mirror. Sultan was immediately shocked because he lost of his curly hair. What Sultan looked at himself is wrong. He guessed that he looked ugly before. Mother came with a glass of milk and she said,
Where is my curly hair? Don't be sad, honey. Look how handsome you are. Little prince mommy turned into a handsome man. Here, look at the mirror. Whoa! His sister came and said that Sultan can meet his friends Amanda and Bastian. Hearing his friend's name, Sultan immediately smiled and said to his sister. His sister said, Of course you can. Now, take a shower first, his sister said with a smile. Is it true that I will meet my friends? Where can I meet them? Tonight we are going to meeting Zoom meeting with Amanda and Bastian. How come? Yeah, you can meet on laptop. With curiosity, Sultan nod and prepare to go to the bathroom. After bathing, he did not forget to thanks to his father for making him a handsome man, even though his curly hair was gone. I love you, Dad. Thank you so much. What made him amazed was the power of love from his family. The Sultan's family was grateful. In pandemic situations, they were more close and loving each other. Nah, nah, nah. Gimana tadi ceritanya story jumper? Ya, yeah, it's a story about uh, experience ya. Yeah, Di situ cerita ceritanya dari Miss Wiska itu. Nah, silahkan ya. Meskipun pakai bahasa Inggris, mungkin nanti dibantu ayah bunda ya untuk mengartikannya. Nah, sekarang bisakah anak-anak bercerita seperti yang ada di story jumper? Apa saja kamu boleh bercerita tentang keluarga atau pengalaman anak-anak ketika bermain bersama teman? Atau pergi berlibur ke rumah kakek nenek Ceritakan ya Itu tugas anak-anak setelah ini Setelah mendengarkan atau setelah melihat story jumper uh, Dari ceritanya Kemudian anak-anak nanti cari ide ya Cari ide bercerita tentang salah satu uh, pengalaman yang kamu miliki ya. Ceritanya di mana Boleh nanti bercerita di depan kamera Di video ayah atau bunda Atau melalui voice note dan dikirimkan ke miss dikirimkan di google classroom dibantu ayah bunda gitu saja ya anak-anak ya nah it's about your experience atau pengalaman oke okay? simple kan cukup mudah oke okay. oke okay, miss tunggu ceritanya dari anak-anak ya oke okay, sampai jumpa assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh